everybody, this is Krista Von Hool, and today we are going to be reacting to a death battle between The Flash and Quicksilver. So, before we start, I think Flash is going to win. Just because Quicksilver, in the movie, everyone knows this, Quicksilver couldn't dodge bullets. Honestly, the fastest man alive in the Marvel Universe cannot dodge a bullet. I think that's the problem. And you have the Flash, you know, who messes things up by time traveling, you know, he can run that fast. I'm pretty sure he can dodge bullets. And then you have Quicksilver, who can't. So that's why I think Flash is going to win this death battle. So let's get right to it. Okay, here we go with the death battle. A long, long time ago, mankind began to walk. Yes. And then we ran. And ever no, since that moment, I can't run. I can't run that fast. Limits. Or in this case, past the point of absurdity. The Flash, DC Comics, Scarlet mm -hmm. Speedster. By the way, and Quicksilver. I'm a little Marvel's biased. I really like the Flash. He's whiz I even have a Funko Pop. Okay. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, so, armor, and skills to find out that's who why I'm picking the Flash too. A death battle. From Wonder Woman to Superman, there is no shortage of DC heroes capable of achieving superhuman feats. But only one is truly synonymous with speed itself. Mm -hmm. The Flash! <laughs> but before he became The Flash, he was only known as Barry Allen. Like many superheroes, Barry's lagging in the whole Henry. parent department. Hmm. One day after returning home, he discovered his mother had been murdered, and his father had been wrongly convicted of the crime. Knowing Dad was innocent, Barry vowed to clear him of the crime and became a forensic scientist <laughs> for the Central City Police. <laughs> but dear old Dad died before Barry could set him free. Not in the TV grief, show. This only strengthened Barry's resolve to find his mother's real killer. And on one fateful night when he was doing some sciencey stuff, sciencey he got stuff. struck by lightning and then Good fell one, into Boomer. some chemical. Good one. Now, normally, this would be Ooh. incredibly fatal, <laughs> but since this is comic books, Alan was imbued with the power to move his body at incredible speeds and became The Flash. Ah! <laughs> I think that's gonna be a joke. A running joke. You're probably thinking, okay, cool, he's like fast enough to run across water now, but there's a whole Those people are wrong. benefits that come with his new They're power, so naive like thinking he just can run fast. Healing, it's like Aquaman just talking to fish. Others, he has more power than that. Than a supercomputer and the ability to throw lightning. To do any of this, mm -hmm. Flash draws his power from the Speed Force, an extra-dimensional energy source which, when synced with the living being's bioelectric field, amplifies and distorts their perception and placement in individual time versus time outside their own field. What? Uh, in layman's terms, it's kind of like uh, the Force in Star Wars, but instead of Jedi tapping into its power, it's comic book speedsters. I see. Mm -hmm. Think of it as its okay. own dimension that the Flash can use as a power source and also enter on his own whim. Plus, it's pretty handy for getting the Flash out of jams when an author writes him into a corner. Sure. <laughs> also, while other speedsters the like best Max kind of, uh, and Wally West use the speed force, Barry is recharge time travel. Resetting boy, everything. Do some ridiculous stuff. When push comes to shove, he can easily break the speed of light over 670 million miles per hour. He once rescued everyone from a collapsing apartment building, hmm. then used the public library to learn everything he needed to rebuild the whole place. <laughs> and then he did it, all before the cops showed up. Oh, oh wow. He can run on clouds. Apparently, and clouds. he does this by vibrating his feet in such a way that the ice crystals within Look at the that. clouds are collected under... This is why I'm picking him to win. 
which is an affront I don't think Quicksilver has anything on the Flash, honestly. Anyway, his brain is fast enough to perceive events in less than an attosecond. He once called the Justice League supercomputer slow, which, by the way, process at 100,000 trillion calculations a second. That is this probably a big number. This absorbs damage like a shield, because at this point, what can it do? Make waffles? Probably. He was once blown up by enough grenades to send him flying into a tree, breaking it in half. Hmm. To snap a tree like that requires at least 70,000 pounds of force. Ouch! They but failed to mention that uh, his villains, you know, they have a like pack. The, got the Flash the and his villains, or his Rose Gallery, they have a, a pack because the villains the know barrier. they can't beat the Flash. Yes, time barrier. And, uh, you, the you know, if you have a pack with your villains, I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's a pretty great feat. Yeah, Flash, Flash did that. And they're talking about the time travel now. Batman's dad told him to. This was a You'd good movie. Think time travel the uh, would be Flashpoint awesome event. Have, but not that really was a good Flash's movie. Case. It was animated, but it was still good. Hot-headed time-hopping adventures usually end up making things worse. Like when he tried to save his mom's life and ended up ruining the entire universe instead. Break the uh, sound yes. barrier and there's a sonic boom. You broke the time barrier, Flash. Time boom. Ripples of distortion oh radiated out through that point of impact, shifting everything just a tiny bit. You guys really should watch the uh, also, Flashpoint it is movie. It's really good. Flash's connection to the Speed Force, making him lose his abilities. But with fast healing, time travel, extra dimensional power, he's done a lot for a guy who can run really fast. My pick to win it. What? You haven't played World of Warships yet? No, I haven't. Why the hell not? Because playing World of Warships, I don't like the sea. To I water. get seasick. Fire at water. Fire at the uh, enemy. Okay. Torpedo the Yamato. Well. Here is the challenger. Quicksilver. Great things. One must sacrifice stability and push one's limit past sanity. And few people embody those words better than Quicksilver. Wait, who said that quote? I did last week when I got my sweet new dune buggy and jumped that lake. Oh, no, gosh. you just said, hold my beer, and drove it straight into the water. Chris, come on, stay on topic. Quicksilver goes fast. Uh, yeah. Not that true. fast, though. And I guess your fake quote kind of applies because Quicksilver's life has been anything but stable. I mean, his origin story is absolutely insanely convoluted. I guess that's what happens when competing movie studios Maximal. both inadvertently own the rights ah, yes. to the same character. Yeah, don't worry, two Quicksilvers, too. So, and his twin sister, the Scarlet Witch, I don't think two Quicksilvers can defeat the Flash, so... Named Django and Maria Maxima. Uh, but as babies, they were kidnapped by a guy they call the High Evolutionary. He experimented on the two children and then returned them to their parents. Only now they had super cool powers. But Pietro and Wanda were later tricked into believing Wasted that they potential were the on children of Magneto, in the movies. abandoned by their mother, and handed off to Gypsies by a cow lady midwife. What the hell? You know, it doesn't even matter. They're the kids of Confusing Gypsies, backstory. and super cool I like it. Well, I like with it. all the instability in his personal life, it's no wonder Pietro Confusing Maxwell complicated no backstories. from alliance to alliance. Like when Magneto saved him from an angry mob, he joined the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, where Magneto gave him his sleek costume and his new name, Quicksilver. But when Magneto got his ass kicked, Quicksilver joined the Avengers. Because Jeez. what's loyalty when you can't even keep track of who Look your at dad that. is? Quicksilver was not even loyal. My dad was, though. Probably Part of a lot of teams. Well, one benefit in all this hopping back and forth. Another reason Flash is superior. Is Silver's had training and experience from both sides of the spectrum, from the likes of Captain America to Mastermind. But really, when yeah. you're fast enough to That's a good point, though. Of an eye, who wouldn't want you mm. on their team? After all, Quicksilver mm. is all about speed. That, that, that's a very good fast, point, though. Fast, Experience fast, of bad, and of course, bad really and evil, bad and good, he can bad run and evil. An so fast, he forms a tornado, sucking away the oxygen and suffocating them. He can easily run on water and maintain speeds of more than 700 miles per hour for extremely long periods of time. 
And if things are looking serious, he can crank it up even further and become fast enough to outrun a radio wave. Radio waves are a kind of electromagnetic radio. But not a bullet. Thus travel the same but speed not speed. a bullet. Meaning Let's be clear about that. Well over he can run million miles per hour. I mean, much like Wiz seeing himself in the mirror every morning. He can't Wiz outrun a bullet. Survived some pretty terrifying I'm literally going to yeah. hold that against him. Hey. The first one, the first Quicksilver, the second Quicksilver, including Hercules, the one the in the the Fox himself. version. He I don't know. At the destructive shock waves made by his own speed, and one time. He but I still think the Flash is so better. Fast, he accidentally launched himself into an airplane and fell 39,000 feet down into the ocean. Launched himself survived. into an airplane. Man, the Flash in this launched himself into thinking, a tree. He was putting lives at risk. So quickly that he memorized Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata by ear and could play it himself in just about a minute. A that doesn't mean anything. An average person doesn't mean prepare. anything. Flash an read a book about life, building a library and he built it. And has been known to That's a better feat than playing the piano. Why does that sound familiar? You shut your to me at least. I, shut it for you. I rest my case. Quicksilver also has a tendency to run headfirst into danger without thinking things through. <laughs> rest your case? I'll rest your case! Alright, just don't trip on that. <laughs> oh, what happened to him? My balls. Just it's not paying attention to what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, despite his brashness, Quicksilver is a tragedy hardened speed freak who I wouldn't cross for even a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to stop me. Go ahead, try. I mean, don't get me wrong. Both of them are powerful, but the Flash is more powerful. All right, the combatants are set. Aha! This debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. Okay, here we go. The death battle finally commences. Everyone knows my pick is the Flash. Just because he can outrun bullets. And he'll probably do that in the movies. Why is Captain America in this? Please stay calm, miss. I'm coming up there. I thought this was Flash versus Quicksilver. Oh wow, you idiot. No! Captain America, you can do it! No, it's everything is slow now. Aha! I got her. Wait, who the hell are you? Uh -oh. You trying to steal my spotlight? Uh, seriously? Uh, You've been living under a rock. I'm the Flash, all-star hero, fastest man alive. <laughs> fastest? Bullshit. That's me. Let's race to Japan. Well, what the heck? I got time. Okay, uh, on the count of three. Uh, can't, can't you save the girl first? Hold three. on. Guys, come on. Oh, God. Well, I mean, the Flash can hey, hey, hey. Trip, reverse pal. time. I got another one for you. You know, go back in time and save the girl. So if she dies, you know, he can fix so that. That's how we're going to do this, huh? And here we go. The fight. Oh, frick. Neck and neck. Neck and neck fight. Oh, and, and now they're fighting. Okay. And let's be honest. The Flash has beaten That's Superman in a race. Or his powers are comparable to Superman. I'm just saying. Flash is one of my favorite characters in DC. <laughs> what a loser. Hey, man. Oh, get it. Get it, Flash. You miss me? Get it, Flash. Uh. Still neck and neck, honestly. You know, back and back and forth, which is always good for a good race. You know. Oh wow. Okay, Quicksilver. I see you. I see you. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, a giant tornado! A giant tornado! Come on, Flash. You can do this, come on. Oh frick, you are destroying the beach you were in. 
Come on, Quicksilver, you gotta think. What about the other people? Oh my god. Oh, he missed. Let's turn this around. Yes. Yes, another tornado counter. There we go, Flash. There we go. Oh crap. Oh, birds. God, gosh darn it. Oh no! Nice using it as a weapon. Smarts. Smarts by the flash. Alright, Flash, so you're fast. But I'm stronger and smarter. Prove it, tough guy. Eh. Okay. I don't know about that. This is getting dumb. Oh Flash, you got flash? this. What's going on? You're in the speed force. My speed force. Oh no. I'm sure you feel it. The raw energy coursing all around you. This is the source of my power. Oh, I think this is the end for Quicksilver. I am king! Yep. I think this is the end for Quicksilver. He's in the speed force. Oh, he's gonna shoot the lightning! This is it! This is it! Oh, frick! Ew. Well, at least you beat me here. Huh. <laughs> Bye! That is true. Flash lost the race. Flash but who back. really won? I mean... Hurt. Who as really won? As you know. Silver is the Flash is just much, much faster. Exactly, Quicksilver my boy winning the Flash. Flash. Oh, but the Flash has gone ten times now, uh, which mm -hmm. would put him at more than six billion miles per hour. Plus, Barry can pull other people into the Speed Force and fight them there, giving him a home field advantage. In mm -hmm. addition, the Flash's brain can process events in less than an attosecond. And in case you're wondering, 12 attoseconds is the shortest period of time humanity has ever been able to measure. This means that while Quicksilver's Beethoven feat proved he can think over 500,000 times faster than an ordinary person, Flash, Flash is can think faster. Many trillion times faster. He had plenty of time to predict every perceivable action Quicksilver may have taken. Quicksilver had the upper hand in formal combat training, but when you're fighting someone who can move, think, and act way faster than you, there's not really much you can do. You could say this battle was over in a flash. Ha 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 ha. The winner is the flash. Ha ha. Good job, Boomstick. Okay. Well, final thoughts. Final thoughts of the whole thing. Um, it made sense that the flash would win. He can, uh, you know, outrun time, change time, you know. And the most important one is that Flash can dodge a bullet, and he's he just thinks faster, you know. Like I said before, he he rate he had a race with Superman, and you know they kept up, kept up. So you know, being Superman, you know, like the invincible Superman that you know is the top tier of the DC with powers, Flash can hold his own against Superman. So that's why the Flash is superior than Quicksilver but uh, yeah it's all it, it is all um, objective if you think the results were wrong you know just have a healthy good debate in the comments section below <laughs> if, if, if a healthy debate can exist in the comment section of YouTube but you know so yeah, my boy won though. The Flash, my one of my favorite DC characters won and I'm glad for it. And uh yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, share it with the world. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next adventure. Christoph on Hool out.